I just want to take you on my travel, my journey to Vienna, but in London, because not everybody obviously can go with me tonight to Vienna, but I just take you with me on the catwalk for 15 minutes, just forget the other things and listen to the beautiful music, to the opera. I'd like to play a little game, so we've got some celebs who we're going to show and you need to tell us if they're setting a trend or it's just not quite working and they're a victim and they should be bent. <gasps> oh, oh. I see, I know this I'm sure was for like the Met Ball because I remember seeing this and I did think, oh no, no, no. <laughs> So is that Again, a trend? I'm just trying to see you good in this situation. Are you looking at it in awe or are you just not quite convinced? Well, I am in awe, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> for all the wrong reasons. For all the wrong reasons. <laughs> the same thing I would say, like Lisa said, <laughs> bean it. She <laughs> <laughs> doesn't like it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll walk you through a demonstration and once I'm finished, it's going to be your turn to do your uh, macaroons. Okay. No, no uh, competition. <laughs> you will all have your beautiful macaroons at the end. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, that's it. Yeah? Yeah, no, no, that's what I'm saying. So you hold it, I, I, I have to mark. You hold it here, you hold it here, you hold it here. Yeah. <laughs> the parkour community is something quite special that I realised quite soon uh, after joining. Um, the people are, have all got a, re a really great ethic um, about sort of sportsmanship and um, healthy living and you can connect with people. I mean, I've had people come stay at my house who I've never met before but I know them through parkour. <laughs> and Michelle, who started capoeira classes for women, and she's going to let us know a little bit more of what is capoeira and what inspired her to start these classes. have more female directors, writers and producers, we would potentially have more interesting, more realistic female parts, maybe more varied because as most people know, female parts are predominantly pretty young white women is often, you know, it's for the most part what you'll see in, in scripts and TV. How difficult do you think it is for you to have a successful career in music today? It's uh, quite hard right now, but in, on another level, it's not. Mm -hmm. Because at one time you could only go through the major labels and that's how you got to be known, that's how everybody got to know who you were, being promoted and being expedited by them. But now it's changed because electricity has stepped into the pocket. It sounds like uh, it could be about a person um, warning somebody about, you know, having a bad relationship with someone, but actually it's, um, about a relationship that I had with drugs. I was in rehab in 2014. It was just about my my relationship with, with that thing and now I'm in recovery and sort of watch out, you know? Why do you think Amy would believe this helps young people today? Because that was Amy. Amy always wanted a help. She'd say, do it. Oh. 